Hi everybody, it's John from the Pumpernickel Puppet Theater again. And today, I thought I would show you how to make your very own caterpillar rod puppet. Now, this puppet is based on the book, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Do you know that story? I bet a lot of you do. Now, this isn't an original idea. I saw somebody make one of these caterpillars, but it wasn't a puppet. And I just adapted it just a little bit to make it into a rod puppet. Now, here's the materials that you're gonna to need to make this puppet. You're gonna need some heavy paper, like construction paper, or scrapbooking paper works out well too. You're going to need a couple of popsicle sticks. You're gonna need a glue stick. I like to use a glue stick for this project. It's a lot less messy, especially if you're working with kids, than using liquid glue. And you're gonna need a pipe cleaner. And you're also going to need some scissors, of course, to cut out the paper and a glass so you can trace a nice round circle. Okay, we're going to get started. Now, here's what you're going to need to do first. We're going to need about 15 or 16 round circles. So what I usually do is I usually triple up my paper so I don't have to draw and cut so many circles. And I use a glass as a pattern and I just trace the glass around there and I get some nice round circles that way. Now, after you've done that, you're gonna to need to fold the circles in half, just like this, fold them in half, just like that. And then you're gonna glue the circles. Now, here's what you do. You glue them together, but you leave a little bit of a space, a little less than a half an inch is what you wanna use, just about there. And when you get about 15 of those, you'll be all set. You'll get this sort of accordion effect here, just like that. And now it's time to make the caterpillar's face. So what you have to do is cut up a couple of more circles. And I like to use a different color from the body. It just adds a little bit of a variation to the puppet. And I drew a face on there. Now, my puppet's face has some googly eyes I just drew on some eyes on this puppet. So you can use googly eyes or not googly eyes, it's up to you. And what you have to do is get a little piece of pipe cleaner. Those are gonna be the antennas. And you glue the antennas right onto the back of the caterpillar face. And then you glue the popsicle stick on the back as well, and then you glue the other circle on, sort of like a sandwich effect. And when the face is done, you glue it on to the end of the caterpillar, right where you started gluing those circles. You see how I did that? And there's a stick right there. And of course you need another stick in the back. And I just glued that on. I cut a hole in the circle and just glued that on the back, just like this. And my caterpillar puppet is finished. Goodbye, everybody.